If you've ever felt strangely numb, or unusually focused, or just not quite yourself on a GLP-1 medication, you're not imagining it. In fact, the more people talk about it, from Reddit threads to YouTube comments, the clearer it becomes. These drugs don't just change appetite, they can change everything. I'm your friendly pharmacist, and today we're chatting about something we really need to discuss. What happens to your mind on a GLP-1? We're going beyond weight loss and blood sugar, into mood, motivation, even identity. Because if you've ever asked yourself, why do I feel so flat now? You deserve a real answer. Let's start with the big one, emotional blunting. People describe it like this. I used to love food, now I just don't care. But it's not just food. I don't feel excited about anything. It's not depression, exactly. It's more like a dimmer switch, like someone turned the volume down on life. And honestly, that makes sense. GLP-1 medications like semaglutide and tirzepatide don't just work in the gut. They work in the brain, specifically in areas linked to reward, motivation, and pleasure. When your brain doesn't get the same dopamine hit from food, it can sometimes generalize. You don't crave junk food, sure, but maybe you don't crave much else either. PubMed studies are beginning to catch up with what patients have been saying for years. These meds may reduce activation in the brain's reward pathways. That means less compulsive eating, yes, but also potentially less joy. And here's the twist. For some people, that's exactly what they wanted. They say, I used to binge when I was stressed. Now I don't even think about it. Or, I finally feel in control, focused, clear. GLP-1s can absolutely create a kind of tunnel vision, a sharper sense of task, a drop in intrusive cravings. That can feel amazing, until it starts to feel robotic. And this is where things get really interesting. Some users report becoming hyperproductive, almost manic. They'll say, I reorganized my whole garage at 2 a.m. Or, I am on week four of a crazy cleaning streak. I have never felt this driven. Sounds great, right? But here's the catch. It's often paired with anxiety, sleeplessness, or what one Reddit user called a background hum of intensity. So now we're asking, is this motivation? Or is it just another form of compulsion? Another angle? Social detachment. A few people describe withdrawing. Not because they're sad, but because their usual emotional cues feel off. One person wrote, I went to my best friend's birthday and felt nothing. I smiled, but... I wasn't there. We don't have all the answers yet. But if you've noticed changes in your mood, your focus, even your relationship since starting a GLP-1, it's not just in your head. It's in your head. Literally. Now, should that scare you? Not necessarily. For some people, these psychological shifts are subtle or even positive. They might feel more present, more balanced, like the edge is off and the noise is quieter. But for others, it can be disorienting, especially if they weren't expecting it. That's why this conversation matters, because it's not about stopping the medication. It's about understanding it. If you've had a weird mental health moment on semaglutide or tirzepatide, drop it in the comments. I want to hear it. Someone else might need to hear it. And in the next episode, we're going deeper underground, because some folks aren't using GLP-1s to feel less. They're using them to feel more. More energy, more edge, more control. We're talking biohacking, stacking, and the GLP-1 underground. Yeah, it gets weird.